Hey everyone, Psychotronic Squirt Gun coming at you with another comic book haul. Hope you're doing good out there. And I just pull randomly from my uh, from my collection. You know what I mean? So here we go. It's a beautiful comic, you guys. 1968, Captain America. 106, uh, 107, beautiful cover. It's got the roll on it, but unfortunately, it's a wounded warrior, you guys. Look at that, wounded warrior. Someone ripped it. My goodness. In a way that upsets me, but in a way I'm keeping this, too, because it's such a beautiful, uh, curvy comic, you know, that um, it's worth, it's just worth having in the collection. Um, if I ever get it replaced, you know, then maybe I'll, uh, you know, you know the drill. I'll send it off to a friend, say it's ripped. Because some of my friends don't care, man. They just want the good comics, you know. But, yeah, kind of upset with that one. That was, well, you can't win them all, you guys. I think I got that off an eBay haul um, with a whole bunch of other comics. So, not not very upset about it. 1973, we're going to continue with uh, Jack Kirby, Mr. Miracle, number 15. Um, I, this is in a much better, much better shape. Gotta love it. I love Kirby. He's just, he's just so weird. He got stranger in the 70s, right? But I like it. I dig it. Love his splash pages. Love, you know, you always gotta love the, the energy. That's what they call him, Crackling Kirby, right? The rays, the uh, electricity, what are, you know, all that weird stuff. You know, it's just cool. So, yeah, we've got Mr. Miracle. What do you think of that? 1974. Defender 17. Lower grade. Nighthawk. My guy, uh, Dr. Strange. J. Jaws, as Dr. Silver Age would call him. And Power Man. What's Power Man doing there? Well, maybe they, they give you a hint on the uh, cover. But, um, yeah. A little Sal Buscema art. Power Play, right? So, yeah. They're promoting Power Man at that time with his tiara. You gotta love the Tierra. From 1989, we've, we've got Animal Man, number 15, Grant Morrison. Pretty cool story about environmentalism in dolphins. Of course, we have uh, the character Dolphin in here. And um, Grant Morrison does a great job describing the, uh, the thought process of the dolphins, you know? And of course, um, you know, there's animal cruelty here. There's hunters just hunting them when dolphins are, as everyone knows, is, is highly intelligent animals. And there's a twist in the end that that, um, that shows that the dolphins are not... Um, they're not warlike as like the humans. They know how to defend themselves mostly, but they're not vindictive. Pretty cool. It was just it was it was a cool story. Here we have nineteen seventy seven, Fantastic Four, one seventy eight. We have uh, George Perez within. I just love opening these up. Currently, I'm reading the uh, the John Byrne series that came much later than this. At this time, it, it's more Kirby-esque, right? The way uh, Perez... I think it's Perez. It should be Perez. Let me see here. Yeah, Perez uh, is the illustrator. Uh, but yeah, gotta love it. 
Fantastic Four, 178. Okay, 1977, Miss Marvel, number seven. Gotta love Modoc, right? And inside we have uh, some Jim Mooney art, which is pretty good. I love bronze and copper and their splash page in the beginning that, that brings you in to the story, you know? And then you actually read the story. You're supposed to read the story. This one's about Carol uh, Danvers when she was Miss Marvel, which we'll probably never see again. <laughs> Unless in some weird story or whatever. Okay, 1979. We've got uh, Daredevil. 159. Uh, the second... Uh, Frank Miller issue of Daredevil, Daredevil in which he illustrates. And uh, yeah, this one is about how they're trying to kill uh, Daredevil. And so someone tries setting him up in a trap. And of course, um, Daredevil, you know, takes them all out by the end of the, uh, the issue here. But someone manages to almost drown him. Um... But of course, it was all, in the end, it was all just a uh, bullseye. <laughs> it's the arch nemesis bullseye. Setting him up and studying him. You know, I get, you know preparing to uh, really take him out. What I like about this issue is it uh, describes Daredevil's billy club. You know? And how one side is... You know, has it's it's like a it's a cane when he's not um, Daredevil, and it separates and all that stuff. So it's really cool. I used to do this in Marvel. You know, explain stuff to you. <laughs> okay, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out the live show happening tonight. Chaotic comic book cover displays, and more with friends. Please check out uh, Monday night's uh, two dollar claim sales. And that's it. I'm out. See you on the next one.